it looks a whole lot messier now that we've tipped it over. Now in order to remove these cams, we just need to take these bolts out of here and there's this big long one on the end. Uh, we just want to do it progressively because these cams have the valves pushed down in some sections so um, I don't want to just take off one end and have the cam twist up and break on me. But I will take this end off first. With those four bolts removed, you now can remove this section. Um, a little mallet maybe, tap it up under here, I can't find mine. There is a part here that I can kind of just, just leave it without doing any damage. You don't want to push it in too hard on the surface or anything like that. And once it starts to move, it'll just come off quite easily. Now I'm just going to progressively loosen all of these. You will have noticed that the cam just twisted a little bit then, that's fine. Now you want to keep these in the order that they came off in. Um, so find a way to lay them all out so that you don't mix them up. Now all these parts will be cleaned and inspected before we put it back together. Um, it's also important to keep the cams in the right position. They are different between them um, and you don't want to mix them up. Now this is fairly messy with the um, amount of oil that's in here. But we want to pull up these cam followers. These are correct to each hull so let's not mix those up. On this end here, I'm just going to take off this thermostat housing. Um, this will be thrown away, we will buy a new one. Um, typically these are cracked and broken and the source of the leak anyway. Looking at this gasket in here, we can see that the gasket has swollen up, um, which is a pretty good indication that there's been oil in the cooling system. Also want to take off these two cam position sensors. Now these are um, different. There is a exhaust and inlet one. It is kind of hard to um, mess them up, but we want to clean up all that sludge that's sitting around that one. It's not going to help it to read the cam position very well, but the plugs are unique. You can't mix these up. And we'll also just take this lifting bracket off as well. Now that's about it. So this cylinder head is now going to be sent off to the machine shop. Um, they can resurface it, they can check it. Um, they can do everything they need to do. I will hit it up with some degreaser first. Don't send it to your machine shop looking like that. Um, they won't be real happy with you. So I'll give it a quick clean off. Okay, now I've got the cylinder head back from the machine shop. This is something that I can't do myself. They have machined it. There's a, they've also vacuum tested all the valves um, and pressure tested it. So it's not cracked. 
Um, the valves are all sealing well and it's now all smooth here, but the valves haven't been removed. Um, that's exactly how it came out of the engine. Note, I haven't even removed the spark plugs, so um, you can be a little bit lazy there and leave them in if your machine shop is happy. Um, they're essentially just decking that surface there for me. But before I put the cylinder head back on, I will just make sure that um, these gasket surfaces here are clean because um, they're going to be a whole lot easier to clean now than when it's back on the car. Um, I'm just using a fairly soft wire brush just to give this um, a bit of a run over. I'm not using a whole lot of pressure, but it's just taking away any potential problems that I might have here when I reassemble it. Um, this side had the cork gasket for whatever reason. So you want to try and clean that off. Just be really careful with the aluminium because the aluminium is soft and you can um, gouge it. This is just a whole lot easier to do now than when it's on the engine. Um, now this particular one, I don't know why they had a cork gasket, but there's also um, silicon on here, which you wouldn't normally expect to find. Another important one to clean up before we put it back is this one where the thermostat sits. Um, it is a common source for leaks on the cruise, so we'll clean it up now. And again, I'm not too concerned about the different colour um, there, but essentially there's no um, pitting in that surface um, and the rubber seal will seal that up quite nicely. So I'm pretty well happy with that. Now the next thing I want to do before reassembling it is just make sure that there's no um, dirt or metal shavings or anything in the cylinder head. So I'm just going to give it a good blast out with compressed air. Okay. 